Hello, hi, welcome or welcome back. My name is Rachel and today I am so excited to be filming a tag, like old school YouTube tags. Let's do it. I am doing this off of Kaki Reviews Beauty's channel. She posted this um, just recently and she tagged any and all creators, which I very much appreciate because I want to partake in this. So if that sounds good to you, let's go ahead and jump right in. Kaki Reviews Beauty on YouTube here did this tag from Kelly Gooch, which I will link both of their channels below if you're not already watching them. I love both of them. Kaki is the, I always joke that she is the Julian to my Jenna um, because she is an Aries, I'm a Virgo. It just works. I have been talking to her for years um, here and there on Instagram and she, we are just kindred spirits. She's my favorite. She put this tag out there for any and all creators, which I very much so appreciate. So I wanted to hop on this and it was perfect because there are a lot of products you'll see that I really do stick to just one. Um, as soon as I find something that I like, I won't stray outside of that. Although I have been trying to test and dupe my foundation, which is why my skin is so very angry at me. You can see in all of her textured glory and breakouts. So yeah. Without any more rambling, everybody say hi to Jeff Goldblum again. I censored him because I had Zoom calls today. <laughs> but let's go ahead and jump into the products I chose and why. So for primer, I'm in the same camp as Khaki with a couple products actually. But the N Beauty Face Glaze, oh, I cannot say enough good things about this. It is like a whipped, almost moussey moisturizer. It smells like vanilla, but it doesn't have like an artificial fragrance it's very light as well so it's not going to stick around it has vegan squalane ceramides kakadu plum probably don't know how to say that watermelon extract and hyaluronic acid for smooth hydrated healthy looking skin she does all that like this product really drove home that my skin really loves squalane and i just oh it does smooth your skin it has some shimmer in it a little tint of beige so I'll add in a clip, it does add a slight bit of coverage to some of the redness that I have on my face. And it also just really hydrates my skin, it keeps it looking smooth, blurs a little bit. I would recommend this to anyone. I think if you have, even if you have oily skin, I think that this would be still lightweight enough that it's just gorgeous. I have even worn this kind of like online decolletage when I'm wearing a dress for like an event and it just adds such a nice quality to your skin hands down I would use this I would mix it with my foundation put it on on its own wear it with just a little bit of concealer just yeah this was not even a question I've tried to dupe this it's undupable for me love it then for foundation I have been trying to dupe this and you can see my skin is like no we will be expensive and you will purchase what I need and that is the Chantecai future skin oil free gel foundation I have it in the shade Aura. You can see that I was frantically trying to dupe it because she is just about empty. I just repurchased this. It is very pricey, but if you have very sensitive skin, if you have mature skin, the way this lays on the skin is so amazing. I know that my skin loves kind of gel-based moisturizers and that can be said with this. And then they also have some algae extract in this. My skin loves algae. Products that have algae seem to do so much for me in terms of healing and soothing. And the way this applies is beautiful. You can use your hands. Sometimes I can't be bothered to get makeup all over my hands and I will use a brush. It works well that way. I have not tried with a sponge because this is lighter on coverage. It's probably a light, very light medium, but it gives me enough coverage to take down the redness in my skin. It's not going to cover my acne but we'll get into the product that I use for spot concealing but this is just again absolutely gorgeous it is worth it I typically will try to get a gift card like on Beautylish hit up the 25% off sales that Chantecai typically has or use my Nordstrom rewards so there's ways to save on this but I will never stray from this ever 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 then for concealer, 
again, I have tried many different options and I keep coming back to the Kosas Revealer Concealer. I have the shade 0.5N. Best concealer, looks like skin on me. It is full enough coverage that it takes down a lot of the acne that I have and it really is beautiful under the eyes. Um, when I'm not testing around crazy things and I slightly powder it with the powder I'll talk about next, it does not crease on me. It looks hydrated. It does not look like makeup under my eyes. I have aging skin. I'm getting older and this has made it so much more just a pleasure to apply concealer rather than feeling like it looks cakey, makeup-y, dry, what have you. You can see this one is also very loved. This is probably my third tube. I will not stray from this ever, ever, ever. So, so far these have been really easy picks. We'll get into what is harder in a minute. So to set my face, I don't really like to powder my face, but I do need a little bit under the eyes and where I spot conceal just to help that concealer stick around a little bit longer. And I use the Well People, the brightening powder. I have the old one, the BioBase Baked Brightener. They've since changed the name. I'll link it down below, but this powder I even showed in one of my videos. Like it really does like disappear. It finally disappeared. <laughs> it disappears. It has a slight sheen to it, so it's not gonna take you down fully matte, but I have dry skin. I don't want to look fully matte. I want to have some shine in specific areas, so this will take the shine down a little bit. This also blurs for me and really helps kind of the area right by my nose, helps my concealer stick around, and it doesn't add a cakey powdery top to my skin, which again, my skin is aging. I don't want it to look super weighed down, super cakey, super powdery. So I will never stray from this as well. There are some powders that start to rival this and then I pick this back up and I just keep coming back to it. This is the powder for me. Now moving on to bronzer. Again, I'm sad that it's an expensive one, but finding a bronzer that is good for your skin tone is very hard. For me, I am neutral leaning slightly yellow and almost a touch of olive in there, but not fully olive. So I like bronzers that have a little bit of a rosy tint to them. And this one is newer to me, but it's already the one that I would choose. It is the Gucci Poudre de Beauté Eclat Soleil 01. The packaging is fabulous as she should be for this price. But what I love is the tone of this bronzer. You can see that it's a pinkish reddish bronzer. That's what I want. And this is a matte bronzer, but it doesn't look powdery once you blend it out on the skin. It just, it just looks beautiful. And this is one of the only bronzers I've used that really could go in the direction of, is she tan? She's not because she doesn't tan, but this gives the illusion and I love it. So easy pick for me here again. And I love to tap this on with a fluffy brush, like all over my forehead, all my cheeks and down my neck, just because I am a very pale lady and can use all the help that I can get. So I cannot say enough good things about this. The way it goes on, especially with that big fluffy brush that I use is just fabulous. Love it. I even like just looking at it is so, I, I am a packaging fanatic. You will see with another product coming up. So then moving on to blush, this is where things started to get really difficult for me. I love blush and I go back and forth between cream and powder, but even those powders, I want to have like a very satin, almost creamy look to them. So you know what, actually, we're gonna do one in one. So if I could only choose one powder and one cream, this is where I would choose. I'll start with the powder, which is the Matte Glow Play Blush in So Natural. I applied this in the Olivia Palermo beauty video. It is a very like bronzy peach. And on me, it adds just enough color that I look like I have life to my skin, but it is a really good bridge even to that bronzer because they have similar like tan and a little bit of pink peach red undertones so they pair really well together it just looks like I have left I have life to my skin and this texture is 
even if you don't want to purchase one of these please just go and touch them they are incredible state of kate put me onto these and i will never go back i have two and i would love to pick up more but so natural is just a color that i know i can count on to just give a little bit of life to my cheeks whether i have an intense eye look or a more natural eye look it just goes with everything i love it It would truly not be a video of mine if I didn't have the camera shut off at some point. So if I had to choose a cream blush, this one was easy. Not easy because I have a lot of blushes and I love a lot of them, but if I think to the one that I reach for the most, that is the most versatile, it is the Phytosurgeon's Skin Spark Blush in Fume. It's what I have on today. You can share these out. You can build them up. You'll see in the clip that I end up building mine up because I just, I love blush. This looks just like skin. It keeps a nice radiance to the cheeks. It is the most perfect rosy beige dusty blush and this is what i reach for it is rosier than the mac but this also goes with so many of my looks i tend to go towards that dusty rose those mauvey colors they're just flattering to my skin tone and this formula oh my goodness if you have not checked out phytosurgeons walk don't run i have blown through this and i've had it for probably less than a year again found this through khaki i've blown through half of this product and it takes a lot for me to go through a blush because i like to play around with blush blush and lips that's where i like to play and eyeshadow the rest of my makeup i tend to stick to what i like but those are the areas that i really love to experiment and play and i just can't say enough good things about this an incredible company Follow them on Instagram. Check them out if you can. The price on these is absolutely outstanding. If you are new to cream blushes, start here. The colors are amazing. I have almost, I think I have four different colors. And this one I just, it was hard but also easy, which is the theme through a lot of these things. This is just, oh, I love this so much. And I really can't wait for them to come out with like the toastier shades. I know that Jason are like tired of hearing about that but please because this was like the best place for me to start with phytosurgeons i'm about to put in another order because they speaking of algae i have not heard anyone talk about this so i'm going to be ordering it and i will certainly do a review is there sea submerge serum algae extract all day long thank you for creating that i cannot wait to get my hands on it and yeah phytosurgeons all day long baby Ew, that was cringy. Phytosurgeons all day long. <laughs> then setting sprays. I'm not a big setting spray fan. I need to get better about it because my dry skin certainly calls for it. Right now, I've been using the Fit Glow Beauty Mask Knee Oxygen Mask. This is very similar to the Tower 28. This has a couple of extra ingredients, but I love the Tower 28 for setting and refreshing throughout the day, especially if you are having breakouts if they're like itchy and red and horrible this really helps me keep from like keeping from touching it or itching it this it just soothes my skin I love it the tower 28 just as much I just couldn't find that one because I stashed that thing in all the areas to try to keep my skin happy and healthy We're zipping through this so brows Another one where I didn't even have to think, just went ahead and grabbed my Kosas Brow Pop Pencil and Air Brow Gel in Taupe. I don't need to continue to look for brow products. I like somewhere in between a structured and fluffy brow, and the pencil gives me the structure I need. The gel gives me definition of the individual hairs as well as keeping them in place. So. I don't need to look around. I don't need to test things out. These are my very favorite eyebrow products. Now for eyes. This is definitely where I struggled heavily. I won't say the most because that's lips. In my routine, I will typically stick to the same things. I'll dabble in blushes, but where I really experiment is with my eyeshadow and my lip products. And I have to give honorable mention to the Aether Desert Sunset Palette. I am going to do a separate video on this. This replaced something that I've been trying to do for a very long time. The colors in this are so versatile. You can get so many types of looks. I can play with that plumminess that I like, but I also get really strong neutral looks. And this 
shade is the perfect inner corner highlight for someone who is um, very fair. It is just, it's beautiful, almost like a neutral beige with a tiny hint of pink or peach and then like yellow gold. It's just, that's what I need in my inner corners to catch the light and keep that bright. But there's one thing that this palette doesn't do for me, which I'll get into with the palette that I chose. The palette that I ended up choosing, if you just watched my Olivia Palermo Regalia palette review, this will not be a surprise, but it is the Olivia Palermo Au Naturale palette, and this is what I'm wearing today. And I really wanted to showcase this smoked chestnut shade, or no, it's not smoked chestnut. The sh she puts the name of the shades, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, in on the back, but they're reversed. It is light fawn. You guys, I am dying. So this light fawn shade is everything to me. I am not a one and done eyeshadow girl. I like to build more illusion and dimension than that. So what I did today is built the inner corner up with this um, light, very light skin tone cream color for me and then all over and up into the crease with that what is it fawn light fawn shade i talk about this at length in the olivia palermo uh, video and swatch so if you're interested in why i love this so much check that out but it has everything to do with the color of my eyes and how she plays color so well to hazel eyes and yeah the thing that this does that the Desert Sunset palette can't do for me is on the days when I do a strong wing, what I like to do is keep the inner corner bright and then use a gray based shade like this taupe here, which this one is actually smoked chestnut. <laughs> but I like to build a believable shadow in my crease just to add some dimension to my eyes. So I've traveled with this palette and used only this palette if I had to choose one to use every day it would be this. It might not be super exciting. It is a neutral base palette. She does throw a blue in there, which I don't typically play with, but I can get a ton of different looks out of just these six shades. Like this other shimmer in here is absolutely gorgeous and would be beautiful on hazel or brown eyes as well. So yeah, I just love it. It has a nice mirror. It is a very weighty luxe product. So just like the Gucci bronzer, I'm always sold on a very like decadent, beautiful packaging. And some of this like almost like retro makeup when it was all refillable these are not refillable but when it was all refillable and the packaging was made to last and metal and just heavy and luxe and beautiful to interact with yeah this was a hard choice but at the same time not because i know that i can get my most worn looks out of this palette and i love that it is small enough in size that when you're traveling you can just go the case is heavy enough that i would be willing to bet it would protect those shadows and they're not super like breakable shadows they're very creamy they have um, silicone in them so if you're allergic to silicone these aren't for you but that silicone really allows them to remain creamy and blendable and it's just an absolute pleasure to interact with then i will just give a short mention mascara it's always going to be thrive cosmetics liquid lash extensions crystal the brown black Love this on days where I do my strong wing. It is black enough that it still adds the definition. It doesn't look weird next to black liner, but on days where I wanna keep it more natural, the brown in this really stands out and makes it a lot less stark of a contrast to everything else on my face and my skin tone. So yep, love it. Continue to repurchase that. Been using it for years, easy choice. Then I'm hoping that what I'm about to do is allowed because like I said, I do two very different looks. Something that is more eyeshadow based and then something that is just a strong wing. So if I'm doing something more eyeshadow based, my eyeliner is always going to be Victoria Beckham and Coco. It is, again, that really sweet spot with, like the um, Thrive Cosmetics Mascara where it is a dark enough brown that it's adding the definition that I want to my lash line, but it is also brown enough that it is not as stark of a contrast as black. And you can see in the video, I just add a nice little line, but what I love these for, they're super creamy. You can blend them, blow them out for a smoky eye, but they also, when they set, they're down. I love to tight line and waterline with these. I've been stuck in a rainstorm at a concert with this on and not a smudge was had. 
oh, I love it. I hope she keeps expanding on the colors because yeah, but if I had to choose one, Coco would be it. And then for the winged liner days, either this is in that category separate or an honorable mention, whichever way you want to look at it, but it is the Beauty Pie um, Deluxe Precision Liquid Liner in the shade black. I love this. Now this one will skip, so you have to kind of learn how to place it down rather than drag if you have aging eyelids. But what I love about this one compared to some of the others I've tried is how long that tip is and the flexibility of the tip. I'm going to regret this because it's going to get all over my hands, but the flexibility of the tip really allows it to flow with your hand. If you're a marker queen, this is an excellent marker. Um, it's what I like to do all of my fashion illustrations in is marker. It's just a pleasure to work with. It's $9. So I can't ask for more. A lot of liquid liners get up into like that 20 to $30 price range and something this good that is matte enough because I like matte and not shiny and that is easy to use and doesn't remove if I have to go over a line. Sometimes they'll pick up when you go over them. This does not, I love it. So yeah, if I had to choose a pencil, Victoria Beckham. If I had to choose liquid liner, Beauty Pie. Now lips, this was the absolute, this was torture for me because I have, the largest collection that I have is lips and I kind of knew at least what formula I had to choose here, but I went back and forth between three. But as far as lip liners, I'm not a huge lip liner girl, but I do appreciate um, precision. And if I had to choose one, it's gonna be something that contours my lips and can go with a lot of different lip colors. And for me, that is, um, funnily enough, the khaki lip liner from Thrive. These are so creamy. They lay down so easy. They stick around though. And this is probably one of the only lip liners I've just about used up. And it is just this nice kind of cocoa-y brown color. Not to be confused with the Victoria Beckham Cocoa Swatch, but it is gorgeous for creating uh, shadow on your lips. Sometimes it can get a little too brown for me if I go super heavy handed, but oh, so good. So glad that they came out with that shade at her request. And then for lips, I'm going to reapply once I tell you what it is because I've been talking so much that it has just naturally worn away, but I, my lips still look good. That is a testament to that lip liner and these lip products. When I was going through these lip products, hands down, my favorite formula is the Fit Glow Lip Serum. Like, cannot be beat for me. But there are two other lip products that I am so sad I cannot choose for this, and it is the In Beauty Lip Glaze. And the one that I would have chosen would have been Cookie. Not only does this smell like your mom's baking Christmas chocolate chip cookies as a kid. The color is gorgeous. It is a beautiful beige with just a tiny hint of pink. I just said this in another video. That is my very favorite. The formula on these is amazing. I've gotten a lot of people hooked on these. They're $15. They're just so good. The smells are incredible and the overall formula is great too. It is very nourishing to the lips, but it isn't sticky. My problem is it is definitely oilier than the Fit Glow and I just love that gel. Everything needs to be gel in my life apparently, but this color is gorgeous. So that was in the running, but didn't make it. And then I want to call out the Pat McGrath Lust Glosses. And I have a mini here of my favorite shade, which as soon as I get through this, I am purchasing the full size. And that is Sunset Rose. Because I tend to wear those rosy mauve colors almost. This shade is just absolutely beautiful and it has some glitter in it. But these again are almost similar to the In Beauty lip glaze, but a little bit more thicker or syrupy. But again, not sticky. They smell like beautiful vanilla. They are pigmented enough that you don't even need a lip liner with these. I love these, but I just couldn't bring myself to not have a lip serum in this category. And there are some lip serums that I go back to over and over again, but if I could only choose one, I would want it to be in a color that I could flex 
to a lot of different looks. And so for me, it is the shade B. And I'll swatch it next to these, but I also want to apply it. It is much pinker than the In Beauty lip glaze, but it is so gorgeous. And this is a little bit warmer than my natural lip colors, but I kind of like that to neutralize it for whatever look I'm going for. So I'm going to reapply this as well. Oh, please try the lip serums if you haven't. It is a gel cushion that is nourishing, it gives you a wash of color. You can build them up, you can shear them down. That's another reason why they're versatile to me. They're just so incredible. They run sales all the time. They have sets where you can pick up multiples of these. Oh, it was really hard, but at the end of the day, I knew. I knew it was this one, so it breaks my heart to leave all of my other favorites out. <laughs> So yeah, that wraps up my only choosing one in each category, which is very hard to do. So I also tag anyone else out there creating uh, makeup videos. I really want to tag Buffalo Beauty Boy. I asked him if he was going to be doing this, so hopefully he does. And yeah, anyone who wants to jump in on this, please do. I love this. It kind of re invigorates your love for products that you know if you had to go back to and stick with that they are the ones some of these were no surprise to me but some of them kind of did surprise me the lips like i don't reach for b as much as i reach for like beach glow or jam or gospel but that's because those are so specific to one type of look whereas this is versatile so i will absolutely be pulling this out more now the shade specifically and the same with the Olivia Palermo palette. As I've kind of collected newer eyeshadow palettes, I haven't been using it as much as I did when I first got it, and I definitely need to start pulling it out again. It was even fun to play with in that um, Olivia Palermo video. So yeah, this is such a fun exercise to do for anyone, even if you're not creating videos at home. Go through your collection and pick those out and maybe play with them for the next month. Re fall back in love with the products that really make you excited to do your makeup in the morning and that you know you can count on and throw on really quick. I threw this on really quick and filmed it in between meetings. I know that I can count on these products. So yeah, I hope you have a wonderful day. Also, I want to mention that just to make Khaki proud while I'm doing this video, I busted out my other Farm Rio dress. And can we have a moment, please? Like these shoulders make me feel so fabulous. These are like all of my favorite colors wrapped into one. We've got like the hot pink, the mustard, kind of orangish yellow. That, oh, this green makes me so happy. I just feel really fancy today and I'm so excited to film this. Hope you enjoyed, hope I'll see you in the next one. And until then, have an amazing, loving, self-giving day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.